Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are still talking about flow measurement. This time we want to measure the flow with heating. Okay, heating method. Uh, there are thermal flow measurements and there are hot wire flow measurements. I will show you how this is working. All right. So let's first have a look at thermal flow measurements. Mm -hmm. So we again have a tube or something like this, where our medium is flowing, can be liquids, can be gases. Here is the tube. And inside this tube, I am placing two thermal measuring points. All right. To usually PT100. We talked about a temperature measurement. So we have here a probe, another probe, uh, so temperature sensor probes. Usually PT100. Okay. Now one is measuring the actual temperature of the gas of the liquid in there eh? and the other one is heated eh? so this one is a heated temperature this is heated if there is no flow at all there will be a certain temperature difference depending on the on the uh, heating power okay so at standstill or at no flow a constant temperature difference is is given All right Now, the st the, if the flow now starts, uh, so the direction of the flow doesn't really matter. Uh, so here we have the flow. The flow will cool down this probe. Uh, it's heated, but since the flow is, is gently streaming around, or gently, is streaming around this heated temperature probe, this heated temperature sensor, this is cooled down by the medium. Yeah. So, uh, a flow will cool down the heated probe temperature difference indicates flow speed. The more flow is, the more chill factor we have, right? In weather forecast is always called chill factor, wind chill factor and so on. Now that is exactly that, yeah? It's exactly that. Thermal flow measurement. Huh? One possibility. Another possibility is the hot wire. Yeah, hot wire. This is usually for gas, for gases. Uh, this is gas only. So this is for liquids and gases. Uh, hot wire temperature, it has usually, there is a fork. Uh, And between in in this four, we usually have a heated wire. 
It's very thin wire, some micrometers, uh, thin, a thin wire, which has a certain temperature. Yeah? And the temperature of the sensor needs to be constant. Okay? So the temperature of sensor maintained constant by regulating the heating power. So here we're regulating the heating power. So there's a current, yeah? there's a current, heating current, tuck, tuck, yeah, driven through this, through this hot wire, heated, and because it's always chilled also, wind chill factor and so on, yeah, we need more or less heating power to keep the temperature of the wire at the same, at the same level, right? So we maintain the, the, Actually, what we do is is we we look at the needed heated power, and the needed heated power is reflecting the the flow. Huh? So the needed heating power is indicating the flow. These are thermal flow measurement, hot wire flow measurement, uh, heating method. I call it heating method. These two things. Yeah, the accuracy is around one one point five percent accuracy. One to one point five percent of the value. These things here are already measuring not only the flow, they are also measuring the mass. All right. Next time we are talking about a pretty new, uh, pretty new method. Uh, this is uh, we are talking about uh, Coriolis flow measurement. Uh, what Coriolis flow measurement is and how this is working, I will explain in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.